Hello students, welcome back to our class. In the previous uh, module, we discussed about uh, Heron's formula for area of a triangle. So, basing on that, let us try to understand what is the formula for area of equilateral triangle as well as what is the formula for area of isosceles triangle also. So, first of all, when all the three sides are given, for example, this is small a, this is small b and this is small c, then area of triangle ABC with all the three sides are ABC is by using Heron's formula that is by Heron's formula area of triangle is equal to square root S into S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where what is S? S is equal to semi perimeter of triangle, semi perimeter of triangle ABC. That semi perimeter is going to be A plus B plus C divided by 2 is semi perimeter of triangle ABC. This is what is all about Heron's formula for area of triangle when all the three sides are given. And now, Basing on this formula, we are going to derive what is the formula for area of triangle exclusively that is an isosceles triangle as well as an equilateral triangle. Of course, those formulas can be derived by the other ways also. Anyway, we just derived the formula for area of a triangle when all the three sides are given. So, we I am going to utilize this information to figure out and to derive the formula for area of um, equilateral triangle as well as area of isosceles triangle. First of all, how to find area of equilateral triangle? Okay, See, let us have an equilateral triangle. This is equilateral triangle ABC and in which all the three sides are equal. A, B, C, all the three sides are equal. Let each side is equal to small a. Each side is equal to small a. To find area of a triangle, I am using Heron's formula. So, what is this? I am using Heron's formula to derive derivation of area of equilateral triangle. Area of equilateral triangle. So, in order to derive the formula for area of equilateral triangle, First, I am taking the formula for area of a triangle, Heron's formula for area of a triangle, delta equal to root over S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, okay, where what is S? S is equal to semi perimeter of the triangle, means sum of lengths of all the three sides divided by 2. So, there first side is A, second side is also A, third side is also A, whole divided by 2 which is equal to 3a whole divided by 2, okay. And then area of triangle is equal to square root s into, s means 3a divided by 2 into s minus a means 3a by 2 minus a is small a into s minus b means 3a by 2 minus small b also a and s minus c means 3a by 2 minus small a. Correct. So, which is equal to square root 3a upon 2 times this is 3a by 2 minus a means 3a minus 2a by 2. 3a minus 2a is equal to a by 2 and next term also a by 2 and of course next term also a divided by 2. Observe here the numerator is going to be 3 times a into a is equal to a square into a square is equal to a power 4. So, that is a square whole square divided by 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is equal to 4 square. So, I am using 4 square. Got it? So, then if I split square root for every single term root 3 into root over a square whole square divided by root over 4 square. Then finally, what do I get? Area of equilateral triangle is equal to numerator is root 3 divided by root over 4 square is equal to 4 into root over a square whole square is equal to a square. So, therefore, the formula for area of equilateral triangle is 
root 3 divided by 4 times a square. It means root 3 by 4 times what is a here? a is going to be side of equilateral triangle. So, side square is area of equilateral triangle. Hope you understand. This is one way to derive area of equilateral triangle. Of course, we have other ways to derive the formula for area of equilateral triangle also. Anyway, just now we learnt the formula for uh, area of triangle when all the three sides are given uh, by herons. So, this is one of the ways to derive the formula for area of equilateral triangle. Please do remember the formula for area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 times side square. The side can be anything, but it should be root 3 by 4 times side square. So, then directly you will get the formula for area of equilateral triangle. So, moving on to the next one. What is the next one? How to derive the formula for area of isosceles triangle? What do you mean by isosceles triangle? Isosceles triangle is nothing but when two sides are equal, then the triangle is said to be isosceles triangle. So, I am going to derive. So, derivation of derivation of area of an isosceles triangle. area of an isosceles triangle. So, in order to derive this area of isosceles triangle, I am taking triangle with two sides equal. So, these two sides are equal. Let these two sides is equal to small a and unequal side is equal to small b. Right? For that, I am writing what is the formula for area of triangle by herons. That is root over s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Okay? Where what, what is S? S is equal to semi perimeter of triangle that is A plus B plus C divided by 2. But there are A is A, B is also A, but C is B whole divided by 2. So, A plus A is equal to 2A plus B whole divided by 2 is semi perimeter of the triangle. So, in order to find area, delta is equal to root over S into S means. 2a plus b by 2 into s minus a. It means 2a plus b by 2 minus a. a is going to be a only into s minus b. That is 2a plus b by 2 minus b is also a into s minus c. That is 2a plus b by 2 minus b. Right? And after that square root. 2a plus b by 2 is 2a plus b by 2 into when you simplify this 2a plus b minus 2a minus 2a plus 2a cancel remaining b divided by 2 and similarly this one also b divided by 2 and what about this 2a plus b minus 2b. So, 2a plus b minus 2b is plus b minus 2b is equal to minus b. So, it would be 2a minus b whole divided by 2. Right? See, it is very easier to simplify here b by 2 into b by 2 is equal to b, b by 2 whole square. I am taking this out. So, it will be only 1 b by 2 square root. This is 2a plus b by 2 and this is 2a minus b by 2. When you multiply both of them, then it would be 2a plus b multiplied by 2a minus b whole divided by 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Right? which is equal to b by this root 4 is equal to 2, the 2 into 2 is equal to 4 into root over, this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b, it would be a square minus b square, that is 2a whole square is equal to 4a square minus b whole square equal to b square, it would be 4a square minus b square. This is the formula for area of an isosceles triangle, where a is the equal side and uh, B is unequal side of the triangle. Hope you understand. So, by using Heron's formula, we derived what is the formula for area of equilateral triangle when all the three sides are given and what is the formula for area of an isosceles triangle when two equal sides and one unequal side is given. So, please do remember, of course, this is also most important formula can be used in many areas in order to find um, the areas of isosceles triangles also. So, the formula is going to be b divided by 4 into square root 4a square minus b square. So, hope you understand 
and enjoy the class of finding um, the derivation of Heron's formula that is very very important and then by using Heron's formula how to find area of equilateral triangle as well as area of isosceles triangle also. Thank you.